This is the first in a series of videos for educators on how you can improve your educational videos. In this one, I'm gonna talk about why you should want to improve your educational videos. All of this can be found in my book, Teach on YouTube, how to start and grow educational YouTube channels. Now watch to the end because I'm gonna tell you how you can grab people's attention and how you can hold their attention to make sure that your audience retention is really high. And that's the main thing that the YouTube algorithm likes. And at any point during this video, just drop any questions or comments you have in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching Guerrilla Physics. So let's start with why you should want to improve your videos. I was made to watch set of videos for a large organization that I worked through as a kind of additional part of my job. They were painful. They were painful for two reasons. One, that they were very slow. The speaker spoke in a very slow, considered tone. Now that was really, really annoying. They also spent a lot of time umming and ahhing. And secondly, the sound quality was really, really bad. There was this annoying whir. So I had to sit through these videos, but they were painful to watch. The point is I could have read that information a lot quicker than watching the videos. So I'm grateful that the idea is there to make these videos to allow you to digest information quickly, but actually reading and writing is still the most effective and efficient way for us to communicate. So you have to do better than that. So what audience retention means is how long do people actually stay in your video for? And you should be looking to maximize that. You should be looking to keep people's attention for as long as you possibly can throughout your video. If you've started making educational videos, if you've got any videos out there on YouTube, you probably would have noticed that a surprising number of people leave your video really early. And that's not really a huge issue because people do leave videos quite quickly on YouTube. There's loads of distractions, there's loads of reasons why they might realize this video isn't for them, this isn't the right video. Or maybe YouTube just autoplayed the video and they've just clicked away because they didn't ever choose to watch the video. But what is really important is that the people who do decide to watch your video actually stick with it for a good amount of time. So you need to be looking after that initial dip, what happens to your audience retention curves. Loads more about how to achieve audience retention in my book. You've got to be better than what exists already. And we exist at a time where YouTube has been around for long enough and YouTube education has been around for long enough that there is an explanation of most parts of the syllabus out there already. And it's very, very good. It's often very professionally produced and you have to do better than what's there already. So make sure you know what you are offering that's better than other people. I, for example, I'm targeting my videos at the higher level. I don't think there is great video teaching out there for the highest level physics. So I'm making videos that target the grade nine or the A star skills and understanding in physics. That's not to say that it might not be better because of your personality, because of your teaching style, because of your explanation is objectively better than what exists already. That's fine. If you've got that reason, if that's the reason you want to make videos, great, go for it and make videos. It might be better just because it's more appropriate for some people. But whatever you do, if you want to improve videos, the first thing to do is to find yourself on video. I mean, I literally have a note there that says, calm down and be yourself because I forget that sometimes I get too excited and I mumble and I, I stumble over my words and I start saying things that I didn't plan to say and like this. <laughs> And enjoy yourself, enjoy making videos and enjoy the editing process. You know, editing takes a long time to get right, but you know what, it's so worthwhile when you come out and you think, yeah, that video looks really slick. There are no bits where I've got something wrong, I've gone back and I've edited and I'm happy with the way it looks and the way it sounds. Two things, learn basic editing and worry about the sound quality. Don't worry so much about the picture quality, but worry about the sound quality because that is one of the main reasons that people will leave your video is actually if they can't hear you properly or if the sound is annoying or if you don't go at an appropriate pace for them. And if you like, look back at my very first videos and you'll see that it's taken a long time to get to anywhere near this kind of quality that I put out now. And it still isn't perfect. I still see the warts when I rewatch my videos. Videos should tell a story. Videos should tell a story. So be careful about the way you construct your narrative through the education you're presenting to people. Videos should tell a story and the editing will help you do that. Do you know what? Don't worry about any of this at all, but just enjoy learning a new skill. Enjoy finding out about something and getting better at it. If you're a teacher or a student making videos, then leave a comment about what you enjoy or don't enjoy about making videos. I hope that was useful for you. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications icon to make sure that you see when I publish more tips for teachers to improve their educational videos. And check out this playlist for the rest of my videos aimed at teachers and educators in trying to help them improve their online education and help them make better videos that kids really want to watch. And check out the links in the description and the pinned comment for my book, Teach on YouTube, for this and much, much more detail in how you can improve your educational videos.